This is the uh, raw brass apple of discord pendant. Some Callisti here. You can see the uh, centerpieces on both the Alpha and Sigma are in place. There's the escape hole on the bottom. I think it turned out very good. Here's the same model, but printed in steel. You can see the, the middle piece on the Alpha is there, but the Sigma is missing. Escape hole, still same model. Yeah, there's that Sigma with the missing middle piece. Lowercase Sigma, and you can see that there's, oh, <laughs> you can see that there's uh, printing lines, the roughness. And here's the same model printed in plastic. And this turned out well too. It's very light compared to the metal, of course. I will, um, I'll put weights in the comments. I will uh, weigh these models or the uh, physical objects and give you weights and grams. Now we're moving on to something else. Oh yeah, here's the um, bacteriophage pendant. You can see they shipped it to me and it was missing a leg. They tried printing it in steel twice, they said, but they lost a leg. Even in, I guess, even in plastic they lost a leg. I couldn't, it wasn't even in the bag. Um, so I'm gonna have to rework this model or something. test out a ball chain. This shows that a, a standard ball chain will fit through the, uh, the pendant hole. But yeah, that needs some reworking as, we, as to the rest of the models here, as you'll see. Oh no, no, this one's good. This is an the older model, the uh, Tree of Life. It's actually Jewish mysticism. Uh, old rabbis. Yeah. The uh, Chaim or something? Something like that, I forget. From Kether to Malkut. Here it is printed in. I think it's. I think they call it red. Maybe pink? It's, it seems like a bright pink to me. Magenta. And here it is in steel. Bronze steel, they call it. And here is a big failure. <laughs> this is the uh, Cordyceps mushroom earpiece printed in black. Did not survive whatsoever. I uh, definitely need to make the, the stalks at least two millimeters. Here it is printed in white. Earpiece didn't even get printed on e either one of these and lost a bunch of the caps on both of them unfortunately since this is the one I was looking most forward to uh, I think I'm going to have to just spend some time and really rework the um, the model since unfortunately I didn't save at the right times 
in the modeling process and I only have models that are completely uh, all one piece. I am pointing out that uh, there is a nylon powder still in the caps on one of the models when I first got it. As you can see that it's pretty sturdy, the, uh, the plastic if it's if you have it thick enough. Just those really thin ones. It must be under a millimeter. Can't can't have it underneath under a millimeter. Anyway, thanks for watching.